Hi guys, welcome back to my new channel uh, where I am doing the same thing uh, what was I doing on my old channel. But um, the point is, uh, you have been, uh, you have should noticed it. But uh, in some regions, uh, some people got the update of Lollipop lately, which is very bad um, service from Samsung as for the flagship devices too. As you have noticed, uh, it's been a year since the uh, Lollipop has been launched for the Galaxy S4 and other uh, flagship devices. But especially in Galaxy S4 and the Note 3, I don't know exactly about Note 3, but in the Galaxy S4 as a habit, it, uh, there has been a lag, significant lag in uh, usage. Uh, like I turned down the animation so the apps are opening a bit faster but as you can see if I open up the gallery it takes 4 to 5 seconds to load up the whole gallery it's still lagging and the major thing in the multitasking cause uh, the multitasking was new uh, in the ma not marshmallow lollipop update and we are not getting a marshmallow as you can see if you go into the recent there is a lag if you add more apps like uh, many uh, people do heavy multitasking because everybody is not a teenager who okay, clear, uh, clears his RAM from time to time as you can see if we open more apps like there are you now 8 apps over running now 6 apps and it's lagging you can't notice it uh, that clear let me just preview closer but there is a lag Every S4 owner would uh, notice it, as you can see. So there's a simple way to fix it. Just, uh, you have to be rooted and install a custom uh, recovery like uh, TWRP. So let's get into it. First, connect to your Wi-Fi. Go to the Play Store and search for Snaps. Like yes, yes. There you go. Download the first app uh, which comes. Install it and go to the uh, recovery. You should uh, install this app first because it will uh, avoid frequent reboots. Let's go into the recovery. I don't know why 12 takes this much time to load. TWM is much faster. Uh, such we have downloaded the Volta kernel. I will uh, um, leave a link in the description to download it. Just flash it over here. Let it finish. And there you go. Just reboot. And that's all. We have to still uh, do the adjustments. So don't leave the video right now. Let it start up. It will take a bit time in first boot, but it should be okay because uh, the developer on, on this version of uh, kernel has worked a lot and uh, is very talented about doing modding for the octa core version of the Galaxy S4. So no issues in that. And. Uh, I have deploaded some apps but uh, this is a ODX stock ROM uh, installed from Sam Mobile download and as you can see there is a significant lag over here you can always decrease your lag by uh, putting off the power sign but it will drain your battery much faster and the lag is still there I just go to the recent apps to see it as you can see so to make it smooth like butter go to the snaps understood go to secure frequency and top the small 1.2 gigahertz goes to the 1.4 or 1.3 because they handle whole ui go to the secure governor and it's on on demand put it to the performance it will not drop uh, your battery that much but it's good to keep it let me focus. Damn camera doesn't focus at all. 
Wasting my time. Okay, there we go. Go to the snaps and the main part in GPU. As you can see, the default clock is 480. Make it 700. It will not burn your phone. I have tested it for a month and it liquidifies the whole UI. And see the magic happen. As I'm in the recents, and there you go. The lag is totally gone. Let's bring you closer. Oops. You will not see in the video, but the lag is totally gone. Not a single bit of lag is there. Now, it's uh, liquid smooth. So guys, there you have it. This is the way you how you can uh, liquidify your UI. As you can see, there are no lags at all now. So those two guys were complaining about lags, and you are running a touch is uh, wrong, any wrong like uh, ASIC Aurora port, Dark Lord port, any other port or the stock ROM you can use this tweak to make your uh, ROM smoother as you can see uh, cause the ROMs, custom ROMs came with some smoother tweaks uh, which make the recent app smoother but it was not the smoothest the lag still exist and in the stock ROM it was horrible with the heavy uh, uh, UI and uh, lack of optimization but now it's gone it will never lag again so guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more galaxies for videos tricks tweaks tips and thanks for watching